Mr. President. Republican leader. Yesterday we heard, believe it or not, the Democratic nominee for President of the United States suggesting that rising gas prices aren't the problem. Let me say that again. Yesterday the Democratic nominee for President of the United States said rising gas prices are not the problem. The problem, he suggested, is that they've gone up too fast. He said he would prefer a gradual adjustment. The president, the Democratic nominee for President of the United States said the problem is not that gas prices are too high, it's that they've gone up too fast. He would have preferred a gradual adjustment. Now, Mr. President, the position outlined by the Democratic nominee shouldn't be a surprise to most Americans, given that Washington Democrats have repeatedly refused to allow increased energy production here at home. Even though, as we all know, increased supply leads to lower prices. It's as if they're doing everything in their power to keep gas prices from going down. In fact, the Republicans here in the Senate uh, offered a proposal a few weeks ago uh, which would have dealt with the inadequate amount of domestic supply and we were blocked by the majority. They simply refused to have a debate on the possibility of opening up uh, domestic uh, supplies. Whether it's shutting down domestic exploration in large areas both onshore and offshore or instituting a moratorium on oil shale development, which this new Washington uh, Democratic Majority Congress did, increasing the gas tax, or refusing to pursue coal to liquids. Democrats long ago implemented a gradual adjustment. As the Democratic nominee for president suggested yesterday, a gradual adjustment on gas prices that's reflected today in the $4.05 Americans are paying for a gallon of gas.